This is the first video in the series all about the Jaguar XJ cars. And XJ was the code for Experimental Jaguar, which would be known later as the XJ6. The series of videos will review all of the XJ models, including XJ13, XJ220, XJS, XJ8, XJR, and XJC, and of course the SJ6, which features in this first video for cars from the XJ's reign of 24 years, 1968 to 1992. The part two video will start with the XJ40 in 1987, and then up to the last XJ in 2019. But let's look back at why and when the original X term was devised by Jaguar, when the company was still known as SS Cars. The term X was used for experimental, and a numbering system was developed as a factory code for new cars in development. Not all numbers were recorded, and I guess they likely referred to models that didn't reach production. But the first known code was XJ3, and this referred to the 3.4 and the 3.8 litre S-type from 1963 to 1968. And the XJ4 code was for the car that we're featuring here, eventually becoming the XJ6. The 5 code was for a modified Jaguar Mark 10. Code number 6 referred to a racing engine. Code number 8 was in fact the E-Type 2.2. Code number 13 is the renowned mid-engine Jaguar sports racing model XJ13 of 1966. Code 16 was a factory code for the 420 saloon. And code 22 and 23 were for the E-Type Series 2. Code 27 referred to the XJS. And code 40 was for the model XJ40 of 1987. Code 81 was for the second generation XJ12, 93 to 94. And finally, the code XJ220 was for the sports and race car variants, and that included the actual XJ220 supercar. Anyway, this video is about the XJ6, which was developed under the code XJ4, and was originally planned to be a four-seater GT car as a replacement for the E-Type. But with the model range at the time being so big, it was decided it was a good opportunity to replace Jaguar's three other four-seaters, that's the Jaguar S-Type, the 240 and the 340, all with one single model, which became the XJ6. Sir William Lyons was involved in the development of the XJ4-coded car, and he wanted a V12 engine. However, the V12 wasn't ready on time, so the car that became the XJ6 ended up with a 4.2 litre in line 6. It was claimed to have a top speed of 124 miles per hour and a 0 to 100 time of 9 seconds. The public introduction of the Series 1 XJ6 was at the Earls Court Motor Show in 1968. And it had chrome bumpers, a large front grille, and it was launched with the six-cylinder engine then being used in the E-Type. The XJ was initially available in 2.8 and 4.3 litre capacities. 1972 saw the 5.3 litre V12 engine and the long wheelbase six cylinder model that gave much more comfort to the rear passengers. But at the time the 12 cylinder model was the world's only mass produced 12 cylinder four seater car. The top speed around 140 miles per hour, was promoted by Jaguar as the fastest full four-seater available in the world today. Production numbers vary from different sources, maybe because some might include Daimler and some might not. However, the Series 1 XJ6 for both Jaguar and Daimler appear to be approximately 98,000 cars. And that total production is broken down into the six-cylinder cars in both Jaguar and Daimler variants of 94,121 cars and also the Series 1 12-cylinder model for the Jaguar XJ12 and the Daimler 6 in both Sovereign and Vandenplaar guys, at totaled around 4,000 cars. And now the Series 2 XJ6. It was released as a 6-cylinder, 2.8 and 4.2, as well as the V12 in 1973. The bumpers were bigger with rubber inserts and with a much smaller grille. 
a new 3.4 litre variant was announced in 1974. Fuel injection appeared in 1975 in the V12 engine and it wouldn't be until 1978 that the six-cylinder models got fuel injection. 1975 also saw a very collectible two-door XJ Coupe known as the XJC and it was available for four years, 1975 to 1978. The XJC had no B-pillar. That means that both front side and rear windows dropped to create a wide attractive side opening. The two-door coupe was a very good looking car. And with the short wheelbase chassis, it would have been a winner. Except for the issues with the water intrusion in that wide window arrangement. The XJC models certainly attract premium prices now. And there are a small number of XJCs modified by Avon into convertibles with a canvas top but not as a factory option. And these convertibles now attract a much higher price, as it appears that only 30 were modified. The XJC was available as a 4.2 six-cylinder, as well as the V12, and overall there were fewer than 10,000 XJC model built in total. And it's interesting that just one XJC was produced as a Series 1 model, and that's rumoured to be in Australia. In 1978, a special Super Jag XJ6 SLE was produced in New Zealand, which featured a vinyl roof, chrome steel wheels, and air conditioning as standard. A total of 91,227 Series 2 models were produced, 14,226 of them being with the V12 engine. XJ6 received a facelift in April 1973 as Series 3, and this was a minor redesign by Pinafarina. On introduction, there was a 3.4 and a 4.2 six-cylinder engine, as well as the 5.3 V12. Next, in 1983, the interior was updated and modernised along with exterior changes in thicker bumper bars and a little chrome at the top edge. The door handles became flush with the body and the quarter light in the front door glass was removed. The Series 3 model also saw the option of a sunroof and cruise control. And there was also a new alloy wheel with circular holes that became known as the pepper pot wheel. In 1984, the Sovereign trim levels were added to the Jaguar brand, now becoming the Jaguar Sovereign. Series 3 production numbers for the XJ6 and Daimler Sovereign were 132,952 cars and 10,500 of those had the V12. The 1987 year model saw Jaguar launch the XJ40 and this was a fourth generation car with a new straight six engine dubbed AJ6 and the V12 engine remained as an option. Following that, the fifth generation Jaguar XJ was launched in 1994, and that was known as the X300. But the XJ40 and the X300 are part of the next story for another video. So all in all, the XJ production numbers between 1968 and 1992 were approximately 318,000 cars. Don't forget to like and subscribe, especially by pressing the bell to be reminded when that next video on the XJ40 and the following models of the XJ up until that last year of production in 2019. Thanks for watching.